In this video, I'm going to show you my approach to creating cables, tubes, pipes, and so on in Blender. So I'm going to start off by creating a curve. So I've created a Bezier curve here, and I'll just scale that like so. Now the idea here is to basically create some kind of profile and then sweep that along the path that we have here like so. So now let's go ahead and see how we can execute that idea. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of that. And I will create a cylinder. Now let's ensure that we have eight vertices. And I'll also delete the caps because I'm not going to need them. Now I'll scale this down like so. And I'll also rotate this on the Y axis by 90 degrees. And I'll continue to scale this down. So I think I'm happy with the scale it is at at the moment. Now we need to ensure that this cylinder has adequate length. So let's come over to our modifier tab here and create an array modifier. And I'll increase the count to about 12. Now I need to also apply my transformations so that we get something that looks like this. Now let's also go ahead and um, add a curve modifier. And let's select this Bezier curve here as our curve object. Once we do so, it's going to go ahead and sweep this cylinder across this path that we have here. Now I think we can add a few more. Like so. Now we can also smooth this out by adding a subdivision surface modifier. And I'm going to do so by selecting this and hitting Control 2 on the keyboard. Now, one thing you'll notice is that we have some ridging here. So you should be able to see some ridging that takes place here. And the reason for this is because we have loose vertices. None of these are merged. So in order to rectify that, all we have to do is click on merge over here. And that's going to go ahead and give us this really smooth result. Now, this is a non-destructive way of working. So any changes that we make is going to be updated on the fly. So for instance, if I were to add an edge here and I were to bevel it like so and extrude along the normals like this and pop out of edit mode, you'll see that it instantly updates our mesh here. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. And let me show you this curve kit that I've got here. So this is a kit bash set that I created for curves. So let me show you some of the profiles that I've got here. Now let me go ahead and bring this to the middle and I'll scale that down like so. So I'll just go ahead and activate the array and I'll ensure it's merged and I'll select the Bezier curve as our path. And let me just turn that on. And this is the result that you get. And this is very practical. It helps you add details to your interiors and your mechanical characters really quickly. And I find this to be really useful. And that's the whole reason why I created this set. Now, if you want to get this set, you can find it on my Gumroad store. I'll ensure that I leave the link to that in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and see some of the possibilities with this method. So I'll just go ahead and undo all of this. And let's just uh, select a couple of profiles. So I'll go ahead and select this one. And I will bring that over to the middle here. And I'll also select this one right here. And I'll bring this one to the middle as well. So let's go ahead and work on these individually and then combine them. So I'll just move this off to the side like so. And let's go ahead and select this. So I'll just scale this down um, slightly. So I'm just selecting linked and I'm just 
scaling them down individually like so. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and array this. So I've already got the modifiers set up and they need to follow a particular order or sometimes you might not get the result that you're looking for. For instance, if you had the curve right on top here and I were to activate that and make the Bezier curve as our um, curve object, this is the result that you would get and this is not what we are looking for so the uh, arrangement of the modifiers is very important so now that i've uh, gone ahead and arrayed this the next thing i want to do is twist these cables that we have here so before i do that let me go ahead and merge so that we get a nice and smooth result here and I will also activate our simple deform modifier that we have here. Now I've already gone ahead and inputted whatever works with this particular set. And when we do that, when we go ahead and activate that, you can see that it's gone ahead and twisted this wire like so. Now let's go ahead and select this one and bring that to the middle. Let's go ahead and array this one as well. So I've already um, added all the inputs that I want. And let me select the Bezier curve as our curve object. And let's go ahead and activate this. And let's add a few more divisions to this. So. And you can quickly see the possibility with these meshes that we have here so this is a great way to add details really fast and it's very practical so you can get your hands on this on my gumroad store and before i wind this video up i want to show you a practical example so here's a sneak peek of something that i've been working on for a future tutorial and I've used the kit bash set that I just showed you to create some of the cables and tubes that we have here on this model. So this is the same kit that I used in order to create this stuff. And it was really easy to add all of this in a short period of time. So when you're working on projects, it's really handy to have um, these curves on hand so that you can just very quickly rather than modeling it just quickly very intuitively apply it to your model so that's just an example i wanted to show you so that brings us to the end of this video i hope it was informative and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will talk to you again in the next one